You must be one of the busiest riders here this weekend. <laughs> Caroline Pamuchku leaving the start box on HSH Connor. And she is in the lead in this division at a 28.1. Unfortunately, Ariel having some issues at the coffin. coffin. There again, yes. And it's really interesting because, you know, I was saying earlier that at this stage of the game, these horses have seen any number of coffins and they've seen the ditches and they've seen the, the rails and the ground falling away on the landing side. And so it's just interesting that something is really bothering them about this. I don't know what it is. I don't have any, any guesses, but um, he really does not want to have part of this today. And he's not the first horse to say no. And we were wondering that it doesn't have anything to do with anything, but that vertical end is set on men clips, which we're seeing more and more at coffins these days. Which again, you know, again, it does change how the riders need to ride to that. Right, it does. And so you wonder if that somehow could be playing into just being a little bit not quite as, uh, as whatever is forward or as aggressive that they need to do to jump in because they want to make sure their horse jumps cleanly and jumps around that rail and doesn't have it down. Caroline's doing a beautiful turn there, and her horses all seem to be very big striding, and he did that three very easily. Caroline had lovely rounds in the four-star earlier. Her, her most inexperienced horse um, did have a little bit of a problem, um, but, um, but she had lovely rides all the way around. She did. So it looks like Ariel got the coffin, figured it out. Yep, and got it done. And so this will be a big learning curve for her horse today. I mean, he definitely seems like he's gaining confidence as he goes too. And so this will be a learning experience. This will be a good fitness test as well to really see where these horses are because again, when they are younger, it is different sort of, you know, the difference in their stamina is different as well. So it's nice to sort of give them some terrain that's a absolutely, bit Absolutely, absolutely. And it was like you were saying earlier too, to build on it, to get this base line in, this base uh, fitness work in, and, and it'll only make it easier for them to get fit over the seasons as they come. Now Ariel's coming down to that last water. And that's quite a good question in and itself. And he just jumped in beautifully over that. Back with Caroline at the at influential coffin. coffin. Super ride, ride through there. Yes, yeah, just like footwork. Harold's just maybe turning off her watch. <laughs> <laughs> Telling it to stop beeping at her. Oh, looks oh. like... She is going to call it a day potentially, is or maybe it? she's being pulled up. I can't quite tell. Not sure. Yeah, it oh, looks like somebody looks, pulled her up. Yep. I um, think maybe they considered that she'd had more than three stops at the coffin. Yes, I think you're probably right. <coughs> so the and good I, news about that is she got to go on for a bit and get yeah. more confidence in the horse. Yep. Not yep. the way she would want her day to end, mileage. but. Mm -hmm. I wonder who this is. I can't imagine. <laughs> although I think Halloween must be her favorite holiday. I'm sure. I am sure. <laughs> so here's Sharon White. Obviously so easy to spot in that orange on Jaguars Duende. And actually I know Sharon thinks a lot of this mare. Um, and I think they're wondering if Jaquita Banana wants to sponsor them because this mare eats bananas whole with the peel on. Wow. Um, and so it is... Um, that's her favorite treat, apparently. That's good to know. <laughs> I've had a couple horses whose favorite treat was sweet potatoes. Oh. But I didn't know horses ate bananas. I didn't either. I have a horse that loves watermelon and would just eat the entire thing if he could. But <laughs> might have to try a banana next. That's the coming up out of the canyon. There's Sharon. Yep. Beautiful mare. Whoop, had to reach a little bit, but she was very on her job there jumping out. Sharon's such a positive rider and does really hold their hand as they're coming through, and it's lovely to see. It does. Yep. And there's Caroline again getting away from the last water. So these are two of our Pan Am team riders on course right now, and Caroline and Sharon. At the same time. It's 
super through those skinnies. She is not hanging about. She is not. I thought for a split second, I thought, she looks like she might be a little tired now that this is about her seventh or eighth horse. She's <laughs> jumping around. But then she just sat right up. So, nope, I was wrong. <laughs> I think Caroline's about as fit as anyone go. 